Next, talking about power systems. So, power system is actually a very vast area in electrical engineering. Almost uh, in four semesters, we are going to read about the power system in electrical engineering. With whichever university you are working, where you're, if you are studying there, you can see in four semesters we are going to. Deal with power system. So the first thing in the power system is something about generation. I can say that the combination of generation, transmission, distribution, and utilization is something about power system. So first we are going to generate the power. So we are going to study about this. Again, whatever thing we have generated, that we are going to transmit by means of your AC line, by means of your DC line. Okay. Again, we are going to distribute by your local substations. Again, we are going to utilize. So the study of all these things is nothing but power system. So generating side, the voltage will always be 11 kV. It can be any type of plant. It can be the hydro plant or thermal plant or a nuclear plant also. The voltage will be 11 kV. With the help of a step up transformer, we are going to step up the amount of voltage to 400 or 440. It depends upon the demand from directly from the generating plant. If the supply is coming to the metropolitan city, the voltage value will be high. If you are going to any kind of remote area, the voltage can be maintained to 33 kV or 60 kV or 132. It depends upon the demand and the load. Again, transmission. So transmission can be done by means of HVAC and HVDC. What is HVAC? High voltage. What is high voltage? If the voltage is more than 33 kV. So here you can see. Okay, If the voltage is sorry up to 33 kV. So 18.2, 22, and 33. So all this value. If the voltage is more than all this value, that is called as high voltage. So high voltage alternate current we have. High voltage direct current. So what this AC and DC indicate? If the span is still 300 kilometer. In that case, we go with HVAC. If the span is more than okay, three hundred, we go with HVDC. Not talking about distribution. So this distribution we are going to do by means of substation. So in every locality, in every area, we can see we have a substation. So based upon that, we are going to get the supply. And as a rough figure, I can say okay, the tariff, the total expenditure of power system in terms of percentage. Like on monthly basis, we are getting electricity bill now. So on what basis they are charging us? So here you can see the ratio. The generating cost is forty percent. The transmission cost is twenty. The utilization and distribution charges are forty percent. So this is the actual ratio. Based upon this ratio only, they are going to make a tariff. I hope it's very very clear for everyone regarding the power system, and you can see the flow chart over here. The generation will always be 11 kV based upon the demand. We can able to go for 440, okay, or 400, 220, 132, 66, 33, 22, 11 kV, and coming back to the same single phase or three phase supply, or directly from generation of 11 kV, we can able to get the single phase and three phase. Yeah. सर अगर वोल्टेज को ये हमने 220 और 440 में ही लाना है तो जनरेशन 11 के भी कर रहे हैं तो फिर हम 66 के भी या 132 के भी फ्रीज जनरेट क्यों करते हैं कोई कंसंट्रेट नहीं करता 66 या 30 वन थर्टी टू ये वन No one will generate sixty six or one thirty two because if you are generating this amount of value the initial cost setup of the generating plant will increase the generating वोल्टेज इलेवन के भी Obviously, the generating voltage will always be 11 kV or 13.2 or 13.8 kV in the Gulf countries. If you are working with a metropolitan city, like directly from the generating plant, you are going to provide the supply to the metropolitan city. What is metropolitan city? In a city, if you have commercial malls, super speciality hospitals, metro rails, industries, factories, so obviously the demand will be more. The amount of demand of load will be more. So there we cannot go with a small transmission line. So what we do? We are going with Some higher amount of voltage value, Mr. Fahad. It's clear for you, Rizwan, Mr. Rizwan. Yes, yes. Nehal, Misa. Yeah, yeah, sir. Uh, I'm just listening. Yeah, I hope. What is happening? Are. <laughs> yeah, sir, sir. I mean, I have one question. I mean, if you need only two twenty volts, then why step up, then step down? Just I mean, make produce eleven kV and directly distribute. What is the reason? I'll explain you. I'll come. I'll come for the. I'll come for the. No, no. I'll come for the simple definition here in the last class we have discussed. So here you can see what why we are talking about voltage. 
I hope everyone can able to see. So why we are talking about voltage? The greater the voltage, the greater the flow of electrical current. So when we are having the greater the flow of electrical current, then only we can able to fulfill the demands. Exactly. No, no strike voltage. Yeah, yeah. This is a yeah. perfect answer. Yeah. The greater the voltage, the greater the current. Okay. Because your device will need the current, only it will provide you the output. Exactly. Sir. That is the reason. And one more thing, Thank my you, previous classes will resemble to my next class. If you are clear with the concepts of the last class, then only my today class will be clear. If you are clear with this two and three classes, then the fourth class will be clear for you. I have framed my syllabus in such a way that one class will get interrelated with the next class. So each and everything is very, very important okay. over here. Very, very helpful for you also. So never underestimate the theoretical part. Many of them will just overcome the theoretical part. They focus on the calculations. You can only able to understand the calculations when you are clear with this theoretical part. Uh, so this is very important. Yeah. So this is what we have in the first chapter. So I will never, I will not start the second chapter over here. Inshallah, in tomorrow's class, we'll go with the second chapter. So please go with the concepts what we have discussed. Because in the next class, we are going with some formulas. We are going with some calculations. Inshallah. So was it later? Yeah. Uh, will we be learning about transformers, the step up and uh, step down processes? The sizing of the transformer we are going to do. Okay. Like uh, the theoretically what happens inside the yes, transformer. See. Yes, exactly. What parts we have, what actually happens in the transformer, what are the, uh, what, how we are going to assemble the transformer and how we are going to calculate the size of transformer. All those things we are going to uh, learn in the future classes. But we are working with the low tension side, not the high tension side. Okay. Make sure about this. Okay.